लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर आर डिफाइन पॉलिसाइथीमिया डिफरेंट शेड बिटवीन इट्स वेरियस टाइप्स वट इज इट्स अफेक्ट ऑन सर्कुलेशन असलाम टूडे डिस्कस अबाउट पॉलिसाइथीमिया how we will define polycythemia whenever there is an increase in the number of the rbcs in the blood we will say it as polycythemia it can be of two types either primary or secondary prime in primary polycythemia there will be rbc count of more than 7 to 8 million per cubic millimeter and the hematocrit will be more than 60% it is mostly idiopathic while secondary in secondary polycythemia rbc count will be more than 6 to 7 million per cubic millimeter or the hematocrit will be more than 30% it is mostly physiological for example when we go at high altitudes where the barometric pressure is less for example when we go at high altitudes where the barometric pressure is high and the partial pressure of the oxygen will be low resulting in hypoxia in primary polycythemia it is the condition of the bone marrow which makes too many rbcs and the platelets in primary polycythemia there is the dysfunctioning of the bone marrow so all of the blood cell lines will be high rbcs wbcs and platelets all three cell lines will be more in secondary polycythemia wbcs and platelets will be normal because it is caused by enhanced stimulation of the red blood cell productions by the increasing demand of the oxygen and this is due to the hypoxia it results by the spontaneous proliferation of the red blood cells in the bone marrow while secondary polycythemia results by the physiological changes of the body due to the decreased oxygenation of the tissues what are its causes somatic mutations in the hematopoietic stem cells or the erythroid progenitor cells while the cause of secondary polycythemia is living in the high altitudes certain types of heart diseases lung diseases where obesity or defective oxygen transfer occurs it is mostly idiopathic its cause is unknown while secondary polycythemia is a benign condition primary will result in increased level of the hematocrit up to 55 to 83% while secondary polycythemia it will result in number of the rbcs from 6 to 8 million and occasionally 9 million erythrocytes per milliliter of the blood now the effect of the polycythemia on the circulation we know that in polycythemia rbcs count will be more so they will offer more resistance to the blood flow resulting in increased viscosity of the blood flow they will be the decreased blood flow to the right side of the heart resulting in decreased cardiac output and it will lead to the decreased blood pressure in the stroke volume will be low but there will be a compensation because they are the seeds number will be higher so it will lead to the increased blood volume increased blood volume will nullify the effect of the increased rbcs resulting in increased viscosity so no net effect on the cardiac output or the blood pressure resulting in net deoxygenated blood will be more so the cardiac output overall will be normal and so is the blood pressure now what is the effect of the polycythemia on the skin skin will be cyanotic because there will be the sluggish blood flow in the subpapillary venous plexus leading to the decreased oxygenation of the blood and the deoxygenated blood will be increased with the bluish purplish hue with the bluish purplish hue resulting in cyanosis of the skin thank you